Good morning to the girls and the gays. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm very excited today because I'm gonna be showing you my spring makeup routine. I've changed things up a little bit. I'm using some products that are kind of new to me and I'm really loving them. Obviously, my makeup changes all the time, so this isn't like a set routine. But this is like my quick, everyday makeup. Not too heavy, not too light, just a perfect in between and perfect pretty much any occasion. How cute are these flowers that I got from Marks and Spencer's? Oh my god, they are so beautiful and they came in this gorgeous vase. I am loving them. They are so beautiful. So this is what we are currently working with. I've already put my oil on from Elemis. It is their Pro Collagen Marine oil, I'm pretty sure, in the greeny blue bottle. It looks like this. Um, love it. Use it every single day. I just got back from my holiday. I went to the Canary Islands. It was really nice. Never been there before. I just wanted like a relaxing holiday and oh my god. It was so nice just to like sit by the sea and like have a cocktail and some sangria. It was amazing. But because of that, my skin has really dried out since being on the plane. Oh my God, I'm flaking off. Like I look like a croissant. I'm that flaky. And all around my eyebrows, I've got these like, I always get dry skin like around my eye area. Um, I suffer with eczema, so that is probably why. But I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge. 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator so apparently it's supposed to keep me moisturized for 100 hours i bought it while i was on holiday the lady in the shop like really recommended this product it's a really nice like gel consistency um so it feels really lightweight and it feels nice um under makeup get that onto my eyelids because they are so dry oh my god i am so dry around this area I'm also going to pop on my Skin Suticals um, UV50 sunscreen. Let me tell you something. I got burnt so badly when I was on holiday. My back had like a boil. I know this is really bad. My back had like a boil on it. A boil from the, from the burn. Um, and it was really painful. But I put this on my face every single day. And I know you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen like a couple times a day I'm pretty sure I didn't do that because realistically who is going to take all of their makeup off put sun cream on and then put all their makeup back on like it's just not going to happen um I only applied it once in the morning at like eight o'clock and keep in mind I was like abroad so it was sunny from like the second you woke up like literally from like seven o'clock in the morning to the night time it was sunny all day and I was outside all day one of the days I went on um, like a yacht, like this, oh my God, it was amazing, let me tell you. This is like a little catch up, I guess. Um, so I went on this yacht and there were like dolphins. It was like a sightseeing yacht trip. It was amazing. We had an all female crew, which was also incredible just to see like, you know, it was like female, like, what would you call that? Like captain? I don't know, like the person driving the boat was female and the whole crew was female and it was just, yeah, it was great to see. We love that. But we went on this yacht and when we got off the yacht, Lou had like these giant like white rings around her eyes and the rest of her face was like bright red because she'd burnt so badly. And everybody else that was getting off the yachts, because you go to like a um like a dock obviously like, where they're all kept and lots of people were going on like sightseeing boat trips and so many people just had these big white circles around their eyes where their sunglasses had been. It's easier to like catch tan or burn when you're like on water. Um, and yeah, she was so burnt and I didn't have a single burn on my face. My face did not get burnt the entire time we were there. This sunscreen is incredible. I'm just gonna let that like sink in really quickly, but you can see that all of those products put together gives like a really nice natural glow to the skin. I am really lucky with the fact that I use some really great skincare products and I don't usually stuff with breakouts. I've got one here because it's not time of the month. But other than that, my skin is really nice. I've been using lots of products from like Elemis and Skin Suticals. My bedside table drawer is full <laughs> of products from Skin Suticals because I love their stuff so much. Not sponsored at all, by the way. If you're watching this and you would like to sponsor me, I would be more than open to that because I love your stuff. But not sponsored. I just love Skin Suticals products. Primer. I never ever skip my primer and if I somehow forget to put it on, my makeup doesn't last and it looks a little bit weird. So the one that I use is the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is incredible. I have used this like on and off for years. There's one from Charlotte Tilbury that I really like as well. 
but it doesn't blur your skin as well as this one does the charlotte tilbury one gives you like a really nice glow i'll link that in the description as well um but i've got like blackheads and like enlarged pores around here so i really like the primer to kind of like fill in any like enlarged pores if that makes sense and just make your skin look really nice obviously it's like a photo finish so it's supposed to make your skin look like airbrushed and honestly it does it's really nice i love this primer i repurchased it i don't know how many times now i'm gonna go in with the chanel soleil tan this is like their creamy um bronzer i really like it. it's really natural um i got this in the darker shade just because i feel like you can really build it up and the lighter shade on me came out a very like orange like it didn't um it didn't look like bronzed it just looked very orange on my skin tone i know this is like obviously really dark compared to my face but the the light shade just came out really really like like it looked like caramel it just didn't look like a tan it looked like i'd like smeared like caramel on my cheeks it looked really weird um the type of brush you use with this really affects the way the product works um when i first got it i was like this sucks like it smears it clings i was like this product is literally crap but that that isn't true you have to use like a stippling brush like this you have to use a brush like this otherwise it doesn't go on properly it just it looks really weird if you don't use a brush like this when I was on holiday, I was literally just doing this to like darken up my face a little bit and pop in concealer here, here and on my nose and I would just call it a day um, because I recently got my eyebrows microbladed. Um, I got them done at Sapphire Clapham. It's such an amazing job and the girls there are just so nice. They're just so lovely um, and I just feel like I didn't really need to put much makeup on because my face was already done. So I just use this to kind of warm up my face a little bit. I put this on first just so that I can kind of see where I've already gone because I don't like layering my makeup. I like to just kind of put one coat on, I guess. So how are you guys all doing? I know that a lot of you have exciting things going on. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I pretty much respond to every single DM. Um, I just love talking to you guys you're all so nice i feel like i've got like so many friends um but yeah i know that a lot of you guys have got really exciting things going on like new relationships and getting engaged i know a lot of you guys are expecting or trying to get pregnant right now some of you guys are buying houses or have just bought a house you guys are getting new jobs let me know in the comments what is going on with your life i would honestly love to know what is going on in your life because i feel like i don't know it's weird you know stuff about me and i don't know anything about you unless you tell me so i love receiving messages from you guys so that is it with the bronzer as you can see i feel like you could go out like this that is pretty much what i was doing on holiday and just adding concealer it just looks really nice and the primer does really blur out your skin you know i probably wouldn't go to work like this because it looks a little bit bare but what i'm going to go in with is the giorgio armani liquid oh this is luminous silk i thought it was liquid silk is this a different one hmm i'm not sure but I'm just gonna pop a little bit like that. So just in like the T area, I like to really blend this out. So I try not to go over, like I said, where I've already gone with um, the bronzer. So I'd kind of leave those areas out and blend around it, if that makes sense. So wherever I've got bronzer, I tend to kind of stay away from because like I said, I'm not looking for coverage. If you want to recreate this look and you've got acne or things that you want to hide, um, I totally get that. So I just say go in with a concealer over those areas. If you've got some skin that has got like pigmentation or you've got acne that you want to cover up or whatever it may be, just pop some concealer over those areas. But for the most part, I like to just have a really thin layer of makeup on my skin. So that is all blended out now. As you can see, it looks super natural. If I zoom you in, I zoom you in, right? You can see that you can still see my freckles through, like my peach fuzz, you can still see any moles that I've got, stuff like that. Um, I've got a pimple there because I want my skin to still look like skin. So yeah, this is not like a flawless um, base. If you wanna do that, the foundation is 100% buildable, but for me, I just like the light, glowy look now i'm going to contour a little bit so the purpose of the chanel bronzer is a bronzer um just to add warmth to my face and then i go in with the charlotte tilbury contour wand to actually add structure to my face um i don't like squeeze the tube or anything like that i just use what's left over and i kind of try to like cup my cheeks a little bit if that makes sense 
I pop a little bit around here like so and then I also like to contour my nose I like to tilt my head back and then I find it easier to draw like a straight line so that is what I do with the contouring I just try to shape my face a little bit I do have quite a round face um, as I'm getting older that seems to be slimming out a little bit please slim out all I want is a jawline I would do anything for a jawline everyone always says to me oh your face will slim out your face will slim out you're only in your 20s like wait till you're in your 30s and I'm always like my dad is like in his late 60s and that guy is like like giant cheeks like my face I wouldn't be surprised if I always have super chubby cheeks so with my nose I pull the brush down and away like so and then with the bronzer I just kind of buff and flick upwards I guess so I always blend it like up and out same with the forehead contouring. I try to kind of stay away from powder products. I do keep a loose powder. I'll put it here. It's really good. Um, it just takes away the shine without like mattifying you. Your skin still looks real. I hate when you put powder on and it's like chalky and cakey and dry. Um, this is from By Terry. I forgot the exact name of it. Um, but oh my god, it's incredible. It is so good. Read the reviews for it. You'll be like, I'm getting this. I'm just going in with a Benefit blusher. I will link the exact one that I use in the description. And I like to place my blush quite high because like I said, I do have a round face. And I feel like putting it up here kind of combats the the roundness and I'll just pop a little bit of that onto my forehead as well and then I just go in with a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids like I said earlier I don't really like to wear eyeshadow but I feel like just popping some bronzer on your eyelids adds a bit of depth for the eyes I keep it super simple I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see what I do so I like to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I use the shade cover I just dab a really blunt round top brush into that product and then I start on the edge of my eyes and kind of drag up and out, kind of the way you would go with a winged liner. And I just buff that along the lash line on like the outer third of my eye. And I kind of create like a V shape, but super subtly. See, when I look at you straight on, you can barely even tell it's there. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Frisk and I'm gonna drag that across the rest of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to carve out the like outers of my eye socket, I guess you would call it. Now I like to take this Zoeva 317 winged liner brush and I go in with the darkest shade which is Undone and I do like a little flick with eyeshadow. Drag that in a little bit. And then the shade that I used on the lower lash line, Cover, I'm going to dip my brush into there. And I'm going to create the most subtle kind of like inner corner liner. It's such a light shade that you can barely tell it's there, but it just kind of makes a difference. You see that? Look here, look here. Super subtle, but it really does make a difference. I love it. Now for the eyebrows, as you can tell, they already look pretty full, pretty thick. I don't really need to do a lot with them. The microblading has made my life so much easier. Honestly, so much easier. But I'm just gonna go in with a teeny tiny bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. And I'm using, I'm pretty sure this is an Anastasia brush as well. And I'm just gonna fill in any bits that are a little bit sparse or a little bit light. I just had a little bit more shape and structure to them. So that is my brows done. It literally takes two seconds. Mascara, I do something a little bit weird. Um, you might find this is strange. But I like to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. I don't use the product as mascara, but I do use the Itty Bitty Brush. You see how tiny that is? It's such a teeny tiny brush. And I dip it into the Scandalize from Rimmel. Um, just because I feel like a brush like this doesn't work on lower lashes. And then I use a little teeny tiny brush to do my lower lashes. So it just makes it look super natural instead of like clumpy or anything. I have got a serious case of foundation lips right now, so let's fix that. So for lips, I first go in with the MAC Lip Liner in Dervish. I get a lot of questions from people like, what lipstick are you wearing? And I don't wear lipstick. I match my lip liner to my lips perfectly. Let me show you. You see? It's like the same color as my lips. I just like to match it and it looks really natural. And then I just overline my lips a tiny bit. 
but I also like to either go in with the Hermes um, Rose Tan Lip Balm, which is this really pretty shade. I'll show you. It's like super subtle. Let me put it on my hand to show you. Like it's barely got a color. It just adds like a really nice rosy tint. And then if I'm feeling a gloss, I will go in with the Dior um, Cherry Oil in the shade Rosewood. I get a lot of this off of the um, brush. I use a tiny bit. And that's what that looks like. It's just so pretty. Um, the thing with the Dior lip oil is if you put too much on, it looks really like full on and really like blingy. It doesn't look good at all. But if you just put a tiny bit on, it looks nice and natural. So that is my makeup routine. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry if the lighting has changed throughout this video. I'm using natural lighting. And today in the UK, we have had sun, snow, rain, hail, and wind and now cloud we have had every single type of weather you can have in the uk in one day but that is the makeup it is super natural super glowy super pretty and really really easy this honestly takes me 10 minutes in the morning it takes no time at all and i feel like it's really easy to kind of change up for different occasions as well i love this makeup so much all of these products that i have used i will link in the description i can't recommend them enough if you want really beautiful glowy flawless looking makeup these are products for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a little comment, and subscribe if you're not already. See you next week. Bye! Bye 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 bye!